So what is your favorite summer fruit drink? Let us know by commenting below. Agus Wade and welcome everyone to Agus Wade Back in Garden with me, Mitchell Junus Wade. In today's video feature we're gonna make some tambin juice. Now last week someone tagged me in a comment, well they tagged Agus Wade in a comment saying that Agus Wade should make some tambin juice. So here it is, here we go. Let's go ahead and make some tambin juice. The first thing you need to do, you need to crack and remove the shell. But you shouldn't worry too much about little or small pieces of the shell remaining on the pulp. Later on, it will be strained out, as you will see. With this part, you have three options. Number one, you could add room temperature water into a pot and add your ingredients, and then add the pulp and let it to soak for about 10 to 15 minutes. Or the second option is that you could actually use, instead of room temperature water, use hot water, add your ingredients, and then add your pulp, your tambin pulp, and let it to soak for about 10 to 20 minutes. Or you could do any of the two options and then put it to boil for another five minutes. That is, if you put it in warm water, or if you put it in cool water, put it to boil for at least 10 minutes and then let it cool down if you're using the hot water. And after which, you go to step number now three. Now for part three. Now by then, the pulp should be very soft because it's been soaking or boiling for a while. So then you use a whip spoon or a similar kitchen utensil to remove the pulp from the seed. Now this option I'd best tell you to use if you're preparing juice for a guest, like someone coming over, or if you have to prepare juice to bring out to a party or to an event. Now if you're going to do it for your household, I would tell you do not use a whip spoon or do not use some kitchen utensil. Use your hand, but first wash your hand. Because your hand is best at removing the pulp from the seed and it's very quick, it's very effective. So I would best advise if you're doing it for your home, to drink at home with your family, you can use your hands. Now you strain it out. This strainer I'm using is to remove the seeds and any other bigger bits. And now I'm going to use the smaller strainer to remove any smaller bits that's in the mixture. Now at this point, I'll be adding in my sugar. And I am telling you, I'm doing it at this point right now because if you actually boil it or if you add warm water, that means at this point the water should be warm. And if the warmer the water, the better it is for the sugar to actually dissolve. So I'll be adding my sugar now. And now you pour your mixture into a jug and then you can add your cold water and ice. That is if you have sweetened it at first. Finally, you have done it. Enjoy a cold glass of tambourine juice during the hot summer weather. I do hope that you are encouraged to make your own tambourine juice or at least you learned something today how to make tambourine juice. Thank you very much for liking our video, thank you for subscribing to this channel, and thank you for liking our Facebook page. And I want to encourage you to continue to share these videos if you find them very interesting and if you learn from them, and if you want others to learn from it and also to be encouraged to start their own backyard garden. Thank you very much, and Agus Wade is out.